Revolutionary Music Makers. I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. Where we help you make great music that stands out. If it's your first time here, please help yourself to our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords, which you can download from our website, hackmusictheory.com. And just a quick heads up, our Black Friday sale has started, Ooh. so you can get 40% off all our books, PDFs, and our online course now. All right, it's time to open your door to hack music theory. But first, <laughs> Tay. Over the last couple of lessons, you've learned how to write an epic chord progression and melody. So now you're gonna learn how to write an epic bass line underneath. And this theory hack is inspired by the course of recent single Alleviate by the awesome Norwegian band Leprous. But the example in this lesson is actually our music, which we wrote using their theory. All right, so start by setting up Four bars are 4-4, four, four, with your grid set to 8th notes and your tempo set to 116 BPM. Leprous use D natural minor for their chorus, and the natural minor scale is a common choice for epic music, so we'll use it too. Step 1. The path. Your bass line needs to be the path upon which all your other instruments will walk, so it's essential to build a solid path that can take the weight of everything above it. And the best way to do that is to play the root of every chord, as the root is by far the most stable note. Our chords are D minor, F major, B flat major, and C sus4. So we started writing our bass line by using D, F, B flat and C. And another thing to keep in mind is that as soon as you play a note on your bass guitar, it starts to fade, which weakens the path. So to counter that, simply play eighth notes, which has the added advantage of giving your bass line a driving momentum. Step two, stray. Now, there's a huge difference between your bass being a path and it being a doormat. If your bass only plays root notes, it'll blend into the background and your other instruments will walk all over it. That's not cool, so don't let your bass be a doormat. The best way to avoid that fate and to ensure your bass line becomes a path is actually rather counterintuitive. To be the path, your bass needs to stray from the path. Think about it. Your listeners won't notice your bass line when it's only playing root notes. So as soon as it strays from those roots, it attracts attention to itself. Then, as soon as it has that attention, it can return to the path. But now that it's been noticed, the next root note it plays won't blend into the background. We strayed with one or two eighth notes at the end of each bar. And the string also creates the opportunity to inject motifs, which are short musical ideas that are repeated to make your music memorable. Like these ascending eighth notes at the end of bars one and two, and these descending eighth notes at the end of bars three and four. So, now that you've got one section down, how do you write the other sections? Then, how do you transition between those sections, especially when they're in different keys? And then, how do you structure and arrange your song? These are issues many songwriters and producers struggle with, and that's exactly why we made our online apprenticeship course, which guides you through every step of the music making process, from blank screen to finished song. So if you wanna learn our secret method for writing and finishing great songs, which we don't teach in these free lessons, then check out our online apprenticeship. All right, now let's have a listen to our epic bass line. But just before the playthrough, if there's an artist you'd like us to hack, please let us know. And remember, this bass line is not the only epic thing going down this week. Our epic sale starts today. So get over to hackmusictheory.com for 40% off everything, mm -hmm. including our bestsellers, the songwriting and producing PDF, and the online apprenticeship course. Thanks for watching or listening if you're on the podcast and we'll see you next time.